Well, we just got through a 12-hour power outage here on Manitoulin, and uh, I wanted to show you this thing here. This is called a Generlink, and this is the unit here. This is the meter, the kind of thing that's on just about everyone's house. Uh, but the Generlink fits in between the meter base and the meter, and it makes it very safe and easy to connect a generator to your household system. I've just switched this off now because the power's come back on. I can I can see that because the um, it's starting to read something now on the meter. But the Generlink is is just about the easiest method that I know of. For connecting a generator to your house. Uh, this cable here comes undone and stores away with the generator and when you want to hook it up you just hook it up and start your generator and the unit here is smart enough to know whether grid power is back on or not. When grid power comes back on it automatically disconnects the generator and everything's safe and legal and works quite well. So I don't know of a simpler method of making a generator connection to a house. It's kind of interesting here on Manitoulin. We, we get quite a few power outages. And I think that might be because the island is fed power only from one main line. It's not like a lot of other regions on the mainland where you might have power feeds coming in from different directions. And if one fails another can take over. There is probably about a 30 mile stretch of um, countryside where that power feed comes to the island and it's quite rough country. There's some islands and steep granite hills and I don't know if that's where the, the ice storm that we've just gotten over caused the break or not, but uh, whatever the cause, we had power all day and um, this little Generlink unit has served us well to make that sort of thing happen. Thanks for watching. Click here to join the thousands of people who get the Bailey Line Road hands-on how-to newsletter for free every Saturday morning.